Hey everyone, this is Ken and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a fully automatic brewing station. Now what's great about this is the fact that it has a built-in item sorter and an overflow protection system as well. And it also has a huge storage system. Now each item, as you see, could store over 14,000 items which to me is pretty cool so let's begin i'm gonna show you how this whole thing works you got this brewing stand right here once you activate that switch the bottles of water are going to fill it up just like so and then you can select whatever you want to brew so let's uh get some nether wart activate that we're then going to activate some how about some blaze powder and some glowstone dust now, what we just created was a strength of two potion. Now, depending on whatever you select is going to go in that format. You see, we just picked the blaze powder. Now, the glowstone dust is next. And voila. Now, about that first lever we first activated, turn off the light. Once you take out these bottles, you're going to notice they're all going to get replaced with a regular bottle of water for the next batch. Now, if you don't want that, you just turn that switch off. Well, turn it on to activate the light. Let's turn these off because we're not going to use those. And what's going to happen is when we go, once we go back to this brewing stand and take out those bottles, they won't get replaced. So we pretty much have a lot of control over that. Now, as you can see over here, you drop your items right in there, whatever you want, sort it, go in its proper place, and whatever doesn't belong there will drop right there. Now, we also have a section here for glass bottles as well. Now, what's great about this, this light indicator, um, if any one of these items starts overflowing at any point, right, it's all going to go travel back straight over here to this section. Now the chest behind is then going to activate that light to let you know that there seems to be an overflow of something that shouldn't be there. Over here we got our own little little garbage can. In case you want to toss anything out and just don't need it. And of course we have a water bottle section here. Now once you place your items in there and it starts overflowing uh, once it starts becoming maxed out, that light is going to then activate. That light indicates to you that the whole system is about 90% fill. Perfect. You see that? Once that light goes on, it lets you know that the whole system is almost maxed out as far as has, has as many water bottles as you can hold. Well, I just got tongue-tied. Now, as you can see behind, we have a huge storage system, like the one I was talking about. And we don't use a lot of rest though. We have this item elevator, which of course sends the item straight up forward. And of course the item sorted takes that much rest though. Then these are the basic materials we're gonna use. You got a block of your choice, some stairs, a brewing stand, droppers, chest, trap chest, hoppers you have some redstone dust a redstone torch a repeater comparator redstone lamp a lever and of course water so once you have the platform you really want to work on just go in the back go about two blocks outwards and on the third block just add two blocks and add hoppers going forward just like so now on the right, you're gonna add a regular chest, and on the left, you're gonna add a trap chest. Now you're gonna delete those two blocks and add two droppers. Now right behind it, because of the new update, um, this is just a faster way to really get the hop, the droppers to face upwards. Place some blocks there, and there you're going to place five well, droppers going upwards. 
and the one on the left you're gonna go about seven high starting with that right there now that's considered one then you're gonna go seven high from that point one two and you pretty much get the point now I'm just streaming this up I didn't really count it we're then gonna delete those blocks because we don't need it and we're gonna start making our item elevator now we're gonna delete about two blocks out and four on the side okay just to indicate where or what space we're gonna be using to make this system okay you're gonna get some comparators going outwards and repeaters going inwards and then redstone dust behind it and then one block space and redstone in front so rest on one space, then rest on dust, and then you're gonna fill those spaces with one block each. The blocks on the back and add some torches. Okay, I have this kind of format. In the black, uh, in the back, you're gonna have um, you're gonna add some blocks. And then you're gonna stretch that upwards until you're parallel to the droppers. Fantastic. So you're going to count one, two, three, four, five. Then that block should be parallel. And anything upwards should be deleted. Okay, so that's five. Delete those on top. Everything else is just excess blocks. Now you're going to place a torch right behind each block. So one there, one behind that. And then right one in the front as well. Then you're going to delete that as well because that's all excess. Delete two down. Perfect. Awesome. Now, once again, you're going to repeat the same process on the opposite side. So you have the torches right behind the blocks. Okay, we're just going to extend this upwards about two more blocks. Delete that. Add a torch right behind it and then the torch in front. All right, so now we have that all set up and done. Now at this point, we're gonna work on this side of the blocks and you're gonna extend that outwards straight to the end. Now keep in mind, that's gonna be the ground level. Now I had a block parallel to that rest on dust and that's gonna be the stand for our Brewing stand. It's going to be the block where the brewing stand is going to be at. Now, I had hoppers right on top and on the side. And now we're going to start making the storage system for the water bottles. Add a chest right in front of that and right on the side, and then two more right on top of it. So you're parallel to the dropper. Then place hoppers going forward towards each chest. Now the last chest on top is placed a little differently. You're then going to place a regular chest in the middle and then right on top of that hopper as well. So that when you place the hopper towards that chest is right on top of that dropper. So in other words, the hopper that's on top of that dropper has to go in that chest and then it'll feed everything underneath it to we'll get straight down to the bottom. Perfect, you guys get the gist. Add a block on top in front of that, then add a lamp on top of that. Now you're gonna add 12 blocks going outwards. Add one there, then add a lamp on that, delete that. We'll work on that later. And add lamps on top of each block. Now we're going to get our levers. You're then going to place a lever in front of each block that we just placed. Now the 12 blocks there, you can use buttons or levers, whatever you feel comfortable. 
Now, of course, we're going to add some blocks here because that's going to be the ground level. Use that to add a droppers right on top of it. Perfect. Once you've done that, I want you to get your hoppers and place it forward towards that, that hopper in the center where the brewing stand is at. All the way until you get to the end. Now, I also want you to place hoppers right behind each dropper because our storage system is going to be connected to that because that's going to feed those droppers. All right, so let's begin. Let's get a trap chest. I'm going to place it right on top of that and go outwards and then place chest, one more chest right on top. Add some blocks. You're going to add two more chests, but at an angle. Not there. You're going to place it there and then go outwards. Hold on. I'm going to show you what I mean. Place that one right there going outwards, one on top, and then place that trap chest again outwards twice. You see? She had that kind of format. Now, at this point, you're going to place your droppers right behind it. Perfect. Then you're going to place a block going upwards and to the side, two uppers. Then you're going to delete the one on the bottom. Place a block there on the top going inwards. Then place a block underneath that one and one on top. Delete that. Then one to cover the top. Then you're going to place a repeater inwards going forward towards that block with a torch in front of it. Then on top, you're going to place a hopper going towards that chest and a comparator going forward with three dust, well, with three rest on dust outwards. Now, keep in mind, you will repeat this process about 11 more times. Now, once you extend the chest outwards 11 more times, you're then going to place one more chest in that same pattern because that's going to be the chest for a glass, for the glass bottles. Now, place a regular chest there and put some extend that at, well extend the two hoppers outwards twice add a trap chest there and then repeat the same process all right then you get a regular chest and just repeat the same format perfect now we actually have to extend this outwards a little more about one more block Sorry about that. Delete that. Add a chest and a trap chest. Delete that. Now add two hoppers going forward. Then at this point on the left, we'll add a comparator going forward. And then a lamp in front of it. Because that's going to indicate that once that chest gets filled, the items are going there that shouldn't be there. See? Once that chest gets filled up, it's going to activate the comparator. Now, I want you to get your hoppers ready. Well, we're going to make a frame forward. Let's frame this all up. Perfect. Now, right behind it, I want you to get your hoppers and place it right behind each chest. Okay. Feel free to pause at this point. Now, once you've completed that, we're then going to replicate this format to each chest right on top. Now, of course, once you get to the last chest, you don't have to do that. Just add a hopper going forward, a chest on top of that, and a hopper right on top. Perfect. Now, in front of each comparator, I want you to place a hopper going forward on each one. Fantastic. We're almost done, guys. I know this is uh, taking a bit of time. So at the end right there, just place some hoppers going forward towards that hopper at the end. You're going to stretch that all the way to get to this point right here. Now, do not place 
a hopper on top of that torch because that's going to stop anything that goes through. So you're going to place that at an angle and then place one hopper there on top of that dropper. Perfect. Now let's fill this all up. We're going to then create a nicer frame. Let's get some stairs. Add some stairs right on top of those chests. Let's fill up this frame real quick. Look at that, fantastic. Awesome. Now, this is going to be the part that we indicate if the water bottles get filled up. You're going to delete that, add a redstone lamp. Okay, then you're going to add a block right next to it on top, right there, parallel to the chest, and add a comparator going forward, and then three redstone dust till you hit the lamp. Now, once that chest gets filled up, it's going to activate the comparator. And that's going to indicate to you that the chest has reached max capacity. Now at this point, you just finish off the frame. Now I want you to go right here in front of the water bottle section, add a block, and then you're gonna fill that with water. And all the way at the end, you're gonna delete that by going two blocks downwards. Okay, I'm gonna just fill in the gaps. And you're gonna fill that whole section up with lava. Then you're gonna get a trap door and place it on the inside section so that it's flush with the ground. Then right in front of it, add a pressure plate. See? It's gonna add like a little trash can. And there you go, guys. The system is fully automatic and ready to be used. Just make sure you uh, fix the sorting system. Guys, have thanks for watching. Remember to leave a comment and subscribe.